way to sugarcoat it, we got our ass handed to us by Sally Langston in Iowa last night. So, anyone have any great ideas? Anyone? We have to swing farther right. We haven't said a thing about gay marriage, school oh, prayer. Oh, come on, it's not our stances on the issues. We are not getting our message out there. People don't know where I stand. Problem is... Your marriage. It looks like you don't screw your wife which would be fine, except that family values matter to Republicans. It's why they vote for who they vote for. And since Sally's got Jesus firmly on her side, that just leaves family. Marriage and yours, whatever the truth may be, from the outside, it looks cold, distant, dead. Where is your wife, by the way? People want to like who they're voting for. Voters thought Al Gore was big stiff until he stuck his tongue down Tipper's throat. They put George W. in office because he and Laura seem like a fun couple to have a beer with. People have to want to invite you in for dinner. And right now, you and your wife are standing in their doorway, three feet apart, not looking at each other, letting in the cold air. That's why you lost Iowa. It's why you'll lose New Hampshire. And you are? Olivia. Hope. Fire her. Ah, she's great. Right, a pistol. Lives for her work, a political nun, best student I ever Fire had. Fire her. Because she said what every staffer on your campaign was afraid to say. Let's get rid of her. I'll charge my hotel room to the campaign. Don't worry, I haven't had a chance to raid the hotel mini bar. Yeah. Best of luck, Governor. You know, let's be clear about something. I run a sausage factory. Which makes me... Sausage? Handsome, highly qualified, smart, idealistic, and energetic sausage. Sorry. The stump, the electrifying speeches, the baby kissing, that's all you. The nitty-gritty, morally bankrupt, back-alley brawling rest of the game, that's me. It's filthy and thankless, and it's my hallelujah heroin and reason to breathe, and you, you don't have half the stomach for it, so you go and you make nice with Olivia Pope, get her back, or you can find another sausage maker. Miss Pope? Miss Pope, wait. I... I apologize for firing you. Why? Why do I apologize? Why did you fire me? I had a job, a paying job, from which I took a leave of absence to do a favor for my friend Cyrus because I am good. I am brilliant. I would eat, breathe, and live. Fitzgerald Grant, every minute of every day, you would be lucky to have me. Just because you don't like hearing the truth about yourself. I loved hearing what you had to say. I agree with every word very astute. And you're right. I would be lucky to have you. This is why you fired me. Can we just... Go back in there and work. Okay. Okay. 